대부분의 학자들은 사해 두루마리가 2000년 전 유대인 공동체 에세네파에 의해 필사됐다는데 동의합니다. 사해 근처에 있는 쿤란 동굴에 숨겨져 있던 사해 두루마리는 1947년에 발견됐습니다. 그런데 새로운 DNA 테스트 결과 모든 두루마리가 쿤란에서 만들어진 것은 아니었습니다. 발견된 지 70년이 넘도록 사해 두루마리는 여전히 집계 중이며 연구되고 번역되고 있습니다. 거의 1000개에 이르는 문서에서 나온 수만 개의 조각을 다루는 기념비적인 작업입니다. 필적 감정으로 사해 두루마리는 무려 500여 명의 필사자가 필사한 것으로 밝혀졌습니다. There were thousands and thousands of scrolls placed in these caves. We only have a tiny, tiny fragment of the total number of scrolls that were originally put in the caves close to the site of Qumran. And that makes it hard to imagine that all of them came from a tiny little site in Qumran. 이 추측은 두루마리 조각을 DNA 테스트한 결과 확인됐습니다. 이 모든 일은 2012년에 분자 생물학자와 성경학자가 버스에서 만나면서 시작됐습니다. And each of us told the other what we're doing in terms of our research, and he thought it might be very cool to cooperate and to see what we can obtain. 테라비브 대학교 성경학과의 노암 미즈라이 교수와 분자 생물학과의 오데드 루하비 교수는 두루마리 조각의 DNA 테스트를 하기로 의견을 모았습니다. 그러나 먼저 두루마리를 관리하고 있는 이스라엘 문화재청을 설득해야 했습니다. Before we could even sample the scrolls, we had to demonstrate that it's possible to get enough material. So the people at the Israel Antiquities Authorities, they just gave us in the beginning duct tape that was removed from different scrolls. And we analyzed the DNA from the duct tape. Now only later when we showed that this is even possible and we can get enough information without destroying these precious materials, we can move on to the more important and real materials and samples. 이스라엘 문화재청의 연구 허가를 받은 두 교수는 최소한의 샘플로 분석을 시작했습니다. They scrape just a little bit of scroll dust from the pieces, sometimes from just the you know the back side of each piece because you can't harm incredibly precious materials. The selection of the fragments was dictated by several factors. I was of course interested in fragments that can solve mysteries that scholars have been pondering about for many years now. We tried to sample both biblical and non-biblical texts, and among each of these groups, we tried to find the most interesting mysteries. Of course, our original intention was to sample much more than we actually sampled eventually, and the reason is that the Israel Antiquity Authority has the prerogative to vet our selection. Not every fragment that we wanted to sample could have been sampled. Some of the fragments are simply in such a terrible physical shape that even uh, touching them would cause their disintegration. 그러나 작은 샘플로도 결과는 놀라웠습니다. Imagine we are only sequencing scroll dust, 2,000 year old, that was the skin was processed to make the parchment, and later it was preserved in caves for 2,000 years. Still, despite all the contaminations of the different people that touched the scrolls, we were able to find enough animal DNA to say something about the scrolls, which is remarkable in my opinion. Those samples have suffered so much since antiquity that it is uh, just amazing, miraculous even, that uh, enough uh, genetic material survived in order for us to be able to uh, say something uh, about it and to contextualize it historically. 가장 흥미로운 연구 결과를 산출해낸 예레미야서에서 나온 두 조각을 제외하고 샘플링한 조각들은 양가죽으로 만든 것으로 밝혀졌습니다. We actually sampled fragments that represent four different copies of Jeremiah. This particular prophetic book has one of the most complicated textual histories among all the prophetic books of the Hebrew Bible. 네 개의 예레미야서 두루마리는 세 개의 다른 버전으로 적혀 있습니다. 긴 버전은 현대 성경 번역에서도 대부분 사용되는 마소라 본문을 토대로 하고 짧은 버전은 그리스어 70인 역에 바탕을 둡니다. 세 번째 버전은 두 버전 사이의 것입니다. Which means that the people there in Qumran held at the same time different versions of the book and unlike today where we have the exact same version 
all of us. They were open to different versions and to different interpretations. 그러나 이들의 발견에서 놀라운 점은 텍스트가 아니라 텍스트를 어디에 썼느냐는 것입니다. Originally, these different pieces were thought to come from the same scroll. However, we were very much surprised to find that two of the scrolls pieces were written on sheepskin while two were written on cow hide. 소는 풀과 물을 필요로 하고 쿰란 지역 사막에서는 생존할 수 없습니다. 이는 예레미야 필사본 가운데 최소 두 개는 다른 지역에서 가져왔다는 것을 의미합니다. We can't say for sure that the particular scroll was written in Qumran. But we can say with a fair amount of confidence that some pieces, samples came from outside of Qumran. And we learned that the texts that were common in Qumran were also popular outside of Qumran. It takes a lot of time, a lot of effort to write uh, a scroll. And they suggested that perhaps Originally, the, the scrolls came from uh, the library of the temple in Jerusalem, and before the Roman conquest of the Jewish revolt, they were moved to be hiding here in, in the caves. So I think that uh, we solved some mysteries, we uncovered some new mysteries, and most importantly, we discovered that we still have much, much to learn and new mysteries to uncover. We have a few other mysteries that we would like to solve, we have a long wish list, and we will see how much of that uh, wish list we will manage to obtain in the years to come.